Jesus bless this message in Jesus name I pray amen you guys I know I have uh, some more interviews coming up the upcoming year probably about six or seven months from now I'm supposed to go to two more Randy K shows he said and he's gonna bring me on Sid Roth with my testimony because Jesus Christ lets us experience these uh, things we experience with him to come back and share with you guys because he wants glory that's why he has said they were messengers that's what we are we're coming back with a message. He's sending us back with a message. I have a message for you. And as you know, some of you will follow him and some of you have came. He pulled you in and then you walked away from him. And you don't understand how you walked away from him, but you did. Okay. He told me that very clear over that fence. Some will listen, some will not. I understand that, y'all. I can't make you. But doggone, he chose me to do this because I can get in there to your ear and try to get you to understand. I'll pound on you to try to help you. He chose me. Why? Because that's what I will do. Because I'll do it. Okay. If you haven't heard my testimony, I'll give you some of it. I've been on Jeff Mara, Randy Kay, um, Tribulation Now Radio Podcast. Peggy Robinson, um, Deep Believer, I, I can't remember, there's another one, I forgot the name of it, but either way, and on my channel, God has been raising me up so fast and so deep, man, these past three and a half years, I got saved April 24, 2020, right up there, where that truck is, had a decision to make, final decision, just like when I was in the desert with Jesus, I had a final decision to make, well, um, I went 16 years. I made that decision in the desert. I didn't know what the, anything else meant. So I went 16 more years living for myself because I didn't know. I knew I saw Jesus. I knew he touched me. I knew what he said. I didn't know why he would say that stuff to me. So I didn't understand. Why would he say that to me? It didn't make no sense to me. So I didn't know what to do with this. So I didn't even try. And I ran long enough, Jesus said, it's it, Kim. Today, one day, one day you wake up, your whole life changes, man, y'all. Do you understand that? One day you wake up and your whole world changes that fast. Well, that happened to me April 24, 2020. Okay? And I had a decision to make again, live or take your cell phone out again. Because I couldn't live with, with, the, with what was happening now. That instant change, boom, I couldn't function with it. So I'm up there with something in my hand to my head. you understand? About to do something, man. About to do it. Final decision, man. Looking at my home, knowing that my grandkids and my husband's in there. My daughter. And sometimes you feel like, man, they don't even care about you. But you know, there's somebody in there that does. There's somebody in there that does. So God, I can't, I can't walk out on that person. I can't go. But what am I supposed to do, God? So down on my knees, I go to my drop to my knees right up there where that red truck is. And I hands out to the side and I fall flat on my face, face forward. God, I'm coming to you. I'm all in, God. I'm yours, but you got to help me. You got to help me, God. I'm all in, man. I'm not playing games with you. I'm in. I need you to teach me, God. I know nothing. I need you to teach me. Use me up like a wet wash rag. I knew instantly, man, that I was called to be used in his kingdom. He told me that at the fence, but I didn't understand how deep. I understood instantly when that happened right there. How God says, Kim, you're here to be used. In my kingdom, you're here to lead souls that are running all over the place, every direction on banana pills and ice skates. So I'm up and down this driveway a lot of times, man, just screaming to God, God, I need wisdom, knowledge, understanding. God, please give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give, 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 give. Come, 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 come. Give, 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 give. I'm just begging him, begging him. Every day, I got such deep understanding and deep revelations from God, man. Incredible. Won't listen to nobody else. That's not your anointing, y'all. Everybody don't have that anointing to listen to nobody. God gives you shepherds to listen to, to let us guide you. If you're here, this is where God wants you to hear me. He wants you to learn through me. He wants you to hear Jesus through me so he can teach you how to hear him directly. But my anointing, specifically by the very hand of Jesus, 
is to hear him. And my, jo my job is to come out and teach all of you what Jesus says, because he said, everybody out here is hearing what he called destructive doctrine. Sounds good to you because all you learned, right? No, they're destructive. So Jesus chose me to speak through, to show you, show you everything he tells us in his word. But you've heard it differently other places. Now he's going to show you truth, y'all. So he needs you to pay attention. He needs you to be loyal and faithful. He don't want people or need people, y'all, that's going to be bouncing around. How can he build a church, man, if you're going to be bouncing out on Jesus? There's a lot of bouncers in the house of God, y'all. A lot of bouncers, man. It truly, truly is just like the Bible said, a very narrow road. Not that many people. And I understand now. Why he showed me that ocean full of people. I'm talking about as far as your eye can see. It's a trip that God had me out there on the river the past few days making my videos. Because I could show you, y'all runners, running, thinking, I'm in doing God's will. I'm in God's will. No, you're not. You're swimming back out there to that ocean. Then you're swimming to the deep waters. Get yourself back where God put you. Because You understand? God works in mysterious ways, man. I've had to call a lot of people back that ain't listening. But I had to call them back. And he took me to the waters to show you where you're swimming to back out in the deep water. You're thinking you're in his will. And then he showed me Luke 13, start at verse 22. I didn't know that was in the Bible, y'all, till about two and a half years ago. And I about flipped out when I saw that because that's what I saw. That's what Jesus showed me, y'all. Everything he showed me is found in the Bible. You can't make this stuff up, man. It's in the Bible. And that is because he's showing you guys that his word is true. And what he showed me is true. And what he's speaking through me now is true. And what he says will happen if you don't listen is also true. Those of you that's running from him and you think you're not because you're working in a different church all of a sudden or you're doing this and that, you're not in his will. You're in your own. And he said to tell you that. How can you really honestly believe that you're in God's will when you got up and walked off on building God's church and you walked off on helping starving people that depended on you in Africa? And you think you're in God's will because you're doing something else over there, but you walked away and left them desolate. You're not in God's will, church. I'm telling you right now, you better wake up. That's the ocean full of people God showed me. When I was with the Lord. Why can't I get in? Why can't I'm supposed to get in? I did this. I did that. I was a deacon in the church. I witnessed the people. I taught in the church. I did this. I did that. I did. We ain't drinking in your presence. You taught in our streets. But why can't I get in? Because I don't know you. Do you understand, church? So that's what Jesus Christ saved my life for. And he knows my personality. He also knows Kim's going to give her life to me on that day. He knows Kim is a fighter. Kim will fight for my kingdom. I'm going to flip her around like Paul. I'm going to flip her back upright. And she's still going to fight. But she's going to fight for my kingdom and what's right. And go get my sheep that are falling around. Tumbling down the hill, man. Yeah, I'm coming for you. I'll do the best I can for God. And to help you. The problem is the church don't know God. They, they know so little of him, they call it condemnation. Because they don't know God is a God of conviction. Conviction is a love word. It don't make you feel good because you're doing something wrong. Condemnation digs a hole, puts you in it, buries you in it. Conviction tries to lovingly come and pull you out that hole and say, look what you're doing to yourself, man. Make a change. The word of God will convict you. Conviction don't feel good, honey, but it's a love word. And if you want to know what Jesus saved my life for, for this very thing, this is it. This is what he created me for from the beginning of time. He knew in 2023, I'd be standing here doing this very thing right now, talking to some of you that's out there running all over the place, calling you, come back, come back. Come back and you really think you're in God's will. You really, really do. 
when you stepped out on not only building God's church, the one Jesus Christ is building through us right here and expanding his church instead of bringing people here and growing what belongs to Jesus. You took yourself away from it and you stepped off from helping people that he trusted you to help in Africa. Namibia, there's over 55 families God gave to We Are Jesus Stewards. Not to me, to me and you. All of you listening to me right now, that falls on your plate too. And God gave you what you have, what comes into your hand, what comes into your bank. He gave you that to help. That's what he did. He didn't give you that to keep and build your panels on your walls. He gave you that to help. And then when you do help, he says, when I trust you with a little, when you can keep your word with a little, I'll give you more. So you can help more, not so you can keep it, so you can help more. Do you understand? But no, some of you walked off from that thinking you're in God's will. Y'all, shame on you. I have to tell you that. And some of you call yourself a very expertise Christian. Knowledgeable in the word of God, you know nothing. Like Jesus told me, my own people. That's how he said, my own people do not know my word and they do not know how to hear me. Do you understand? We got a lot more people to reach. This ministry, y'all, is going to blow and expand. And God, God, I don't have to worry about how to advertise. God does it. But your job is personally is to bring people build the church just like it was when jesus and the disciples was here go build the church bring people in the church bring them in and bring them where here where god has you here why so the people can learn from jesus himself y'all that's what he does through me so the people can learn quickly how to go make more disciples how to be one and how to go make them y'all now in order to do this you have to study here You have to study on the videos I put out for you every day. You need to come to the barn. If you can't come to all four nights now, then come to one or two. All of them, if you can, if you can only come to one or two a week, then come to one or two a week. Be faithful to God, y'all. Be faithful or you will not hear him. He brought you here to hear him here. That's what you, you won't hear him out there. This was your call for you to be right here. Not over there. Here. This is where you will hear him. If he brought you here right now, this is where he put you. Not over there. He put you here. People miss the Lord because they don't follow him, y'all. Do you understand that? All right. I'm going to expect some of you that I've never seen before in the barn tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're new, I want you to give Chano and Igor say, I'm new. When you walk and introduce yourself, I'm so-and-so and I am new. When you log into the barnyard... Go to JesusDoers.com. Scroll till you see the big red barn. There's a link. Come in. Look on your PC or your phone. You'll see down at the bottom when you get in the room. You'll see a little red phone or whatever. Click that. And you could talk. Camera on, camera off. Microphone on, microphone off. You'll see the buttons. And let them know. Yeah, I've been following We Are Jesus Stewards for a while, but it's my first time in the barn. So we can praise God that some of you are actually willing to listen and submit yourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ. So we can give God some glory that somebody out there is willing to submit to God. You'd be a good role model for those that are still running straight to hell. Okay. Then I will see you guys tomorrow night, movie night in the barn. Fellowship, we just have a good time. We come together Saturday nights. We fellowship. We watch movies. We sing. We pray. We do trivia. Sometimes we read. You know, we, do, we fellowship on Saturday nights. It's like a break night. And then Sunday at 2 o'clock, right back into studying the Word of God. And then at 4, Rhonda comes in. First aid CPR AED. You don't think that's important? It's, she's giving it to you. You don't think that's important? Look at what's happening, y'all, around the world. Open your eyes, people. Open your eyes. That's what God is saying. Open your eyes. Look around you. God is all about you knowing how to help somebody else, whether it be through money, whether it be through first aid or whatever. Defend the poor. Defend the weak. Defend. You understand that, y'all? Psalms 82 God wants you to defend people that cannot defend themselves. Do you understand that, y'all? 
God wants you to help people that are laying in front of you dying and you don't know what to do about it. That's why God's giving you this. So I'll see you guys Sunday from two to six in the barn. Make it make time for it. Make time for God. All right. God bless you guys. We love and care about you. Thank those of you that's helping our ministry, helping it to grow so we can get out more platforms, more people. And we are we're going to be making more podcast, going to be making actual podcasts here in the next few months. Going to be having de- a podcast with death testimonies and a heavenly experiences or godly experiences only. Going to have an Apocalypse Now uh, podcast. Well, that's all we're going to talk about. And we got a lot more growing that we're going to do in different areas. We're going to get to a lot more channels, y'all. So, yeah, we, we need the help. We can't do it off air. So thank those of you that's helping to grow this kingdom, to get this message out that Jesus sent me back for, to as far as I can get it out and get as much people as helping as we can. All right. Thank you, guys. Anything you need for that's in the description on the video. And just as important, get right with Jesus, y'all. Get yourself right with Jesus. Follow Jesus, man, okay? Everything you need is in the description on the video below. I'll see you guys in the barn. God bless you. We love and care about you. Pass this around. If you're listening to me, then bring, start bringing people now. Share the videos. Go ahead. If you're on Facebook, look us up on the Facebook. You can find me, Kim Kiel. Okay, you can find... Uh, Igor Maka or Shanoa Flores, and we'll help you get to the barnyard on Facebook. Stay in contact, y'all, with your church family, okay? You need us. We need you in the last days. We need each other in these last days because we're in them, baby. All right. God bless you. Love and care about you. See you later.